Well, then we also watched AEW Battle of the Belts, Battle of the Belts 2, easy for me to say, April 16th, 2022. We opened with Scorpio Sky versus Sammy Guevara for the TNT title. Bro. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And listen, I don't know where they're going to go, okay? Okay. But Vinny has been complaining about Scorpio Sky and his TNT title reign for weeks and weeks now. Since the <laughs> pin counted three to give him the belt. Okay. And I was always... Vinny, let's give it some time. Obviously, there's supposed to be some heat here. Let it Obviously, play out. the reason that he's not defending the title is to make people like you angry and want to see him lose the title, et cetera, et cetera. So now that all of a sudden he just had a match with Sammy Guevara for the TNT title on Battle of the Belts and lost the belt and he's no longer the champion, what in the fuck was the point of that title run? What was the point of that title run? Yeah. I can't figure it out. I, I actually can. From the moment he won the belt to the moment he lost it, the only reason for the entire thing was an excuse to get Paige Van Zant into the storyline and then back on TV again for the finish. Bro, you don't need to do that to get Paige Van Zant on. You need an excuse to get Paige Van Zant on TV? I don't. But apparently no. they did, because that's Listen, all it accomplished. I know. I don't know what this. I don't know what Tony was thinking here. Unless like Scorpio is going to win it back in a couple of weeks, and they're going to continue. That on. would be awful. But like, you know, I just kept thinking, okay, there's there has to be a reason for this. There has to be. Plus, I'd heard before he even won the title that they really want to do something with Scorpio Sky, and so you know he won the title, but they weren't doing anything with him. So I'm thinking, okay. They want to do something with the guy. So when is that going to start? And I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, this uh, this Saturday, Battle of the Belts, he's going to put the title on the line against Sammy. After, you know, he did the thing about, hey, you have to earn your match. I'm not going to give the match to just anybody. So it's like his first big real title defense on a, on a show of some renown. And he lost. <laughs> I was just flabberg I was flabbergasted. And they, they made sure to point out that he hadn't been beaten in like 400 days or yes, something. Yes, yeah, well, we that, never that saw streak. that. Yeah. The whole streak was for naught. Yeah, he uh, won the belt in a match where his own win was overshadowed by Paige Van Zanten crew. Yep. Uh, there was a title defense somewhere in there where, they, like again, he was playing second or third fiddle to everyone else. And then he lost the belt in a match where he was playing second and third fiddle behind Paige Van Zanten, Ty Conti, and everyone. True story. The Most of the match was filled with dueling chants with Sammy Guevara. Because people love him or they hate him. Not one person gave a single shit about Scorpio Sky. Didn't care. The actual match I actually thought was really good. Yep. <laughs> the yeah, it was a match good was match. Really, really good. But the booking is just so bizarre. And the booking of Sammy's... I, I assume Sammy and Tyler is going to be a default heel couple now. Well, I I don't think they're... They're not avoiding it. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, may as well go with it. Or at least I know you hate this term, Brian. But he may be the tweener. No, they're not tweeners. Oh. Who, uh, they're, they're heels. I mean... Yeah, some people you, still like him. You got to remember, Scorpio Sky's out there with Dan Lambert, and Sammy's still getting booed. Yeah, yeah. That that. Happened. Hey, listen. I know people right now who who you know. It's funny these these uh, you know these people on the internet. They they do not like them. But like I I I actually talked to some people who aren't like hardcore wrestling fans, but they watch some AEW this weekend actually, and uh, and they love Sammy and Ty. They think they're cute. That's what I heard. They're cute together. Hmm. I like them. That's what they said. But it's clear that a lot of this audience does not like them. And uh, and it's sort of weird because I, I think there's a few reasons. But I think that one of the reasons is because the last we saw of Sammy in a relationship, he proposed to his girlfriend yes. on television. And it wasn't that long ago. No. And then the next thing you know, he's with Ty Conti. Yeah. And then, you know, they start putting pictures all over the internet and everything like that. And I don't know what it is, but, uh, I mean, I think all of us here, I'm pretty sure, have dated folks that we broke up with in the past. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I feel like that might be a common thing on the earth. Oh, to have a relationship end? To have a relationship and then break up and then have a relationship with somebody else. Right. But God damn this fucker Sammy Guevara. How dare he break up... With his first girlfriend, his first fiance, and get another one. Yeah, what a shithead! I've, I've They're never, angry about that for some reason. I know the three of us. None of us have ever proposed to somebody and then broken off a proposal, though. 
Hang, I also think there's some hangover. there's some dismay over Sammy's haircut. I won't lie. Okay. <laughs> and I think that the biggest one actually was that promo where Ethan Page mentioned his child. Yeah. And Sammy Guevara had the nerve to say, "I don't give a shit about your kid." That was when it really. I mean, accelerated. He does a lot of cool moves, but he's still a very hateable person. <laughs> I don't know. I'd say he's a hateable person. He has a naturally punchable face. Well, you yes. know, he's he's he is a he could be a natural heel. Sure. Yes. yes. And it doesn't help either when Ty is on the outside screaming and yelling at the ref, and and then them tongue wrestling at the end doesn't help either. Oh, that's intentional. At this point, that's a hundred percent intentional. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Sammy's TNT champion again. Uh, for the good of this title, he needs to hold this thing for a long time until people are booing him out of the building and some hero comes in and takes the belt from him and restores it to its former glory. Because this belt used to mean a lot, and the past like two months have just been a murder show on it. Yeah. And get it back to one belt, by the way. It is, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Lambert, I mean, Lambert, no, man. they've been yeah, walking Lambert. around with two belts. I take it so back. I take it back. Yes. I guess Sammy's going to have both of his belts back. I thought of that, oh too. They, that's another one. Why is he walking around with two belts? I don't know. That's we had an interim belt. You you unified the belts. You know the word unified means? <laughs> it means they're put together. Unit. Correct. One. <laughs> no, Vinny, unify. No, Brian. The, 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 I know that. The root of the word unit means I one. I realize that, but forget the root. The actual word unify. You put them together. So get a new belt or get rid of one of the belts. Why are you walking around with two belts? Am I going to get yelled at for this one now? Probably. How dare you, Brian. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler and then go into images and then go into GIFs. (laughs) <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.